So today I want to talk and show you a little bit about the car I just got that's 2023 BMW X1 X drive and it's all wheel drive obviously because it's X drive and it's brand new I mean not the car itself the design it is a new it is totally redesigned redone BMW X1 inside and outside and there is a lot of cool things on this car I would like to share with you so from the outside of this car, you can tell there is something new, something different only by seeing those handles. They are flat right now. So in the old new BMW, they going like that. It's kind of cool. So it is a cool design from every corner of this car. You can tell what I don't like a lot. I mean, there is a lot of things uh, obviously I don't like inside the car, but outside I don't like the design of the rims. I would say the rims, they could do something much better because from the side of the car, it kind of looks like the new Subaru Forester. They have a similar design on the rims. And when this car passing by, honestly, I'm like, ah, they could, they could do it better. I think so because somebody steal it from someone. That's, that's in my opinion. But those handles, those handles are cool. All the pieces on the bottom, all the color combination, even the black car with silver mirrors, it's kind of cool looking stuff. So they, they look kind of big, but again, they're helping a lot while you're driving the car and they are showing enough on the both sides. So it is comfortable to use them both. So I'm glad they didn't do the small, short, mirrors like there is a new kind of style for all the cars to do so but they keep doing the big one so everybody can see what they have to see on the sides so the transmission and engine on this car i think it's remaining the same from the previous one this one has 2.0 turbo engine and it is auto stop it's not hybrid it's not the plug-in it's just a regular gasoline engine it's more than enough power because it is a small SUV, even if you're going to put a lot of loads inside, but how many loads are you going to put? You can put like four or five people and a couple more bags in the trunk. That's it. The car itself not letting you do a lot of crazy stuff like a Tahoe, for example. But when you're driving the car like a Tahoe size, you're not driving the same style as you're driving BMW X1. Even this car, not so big SUV, it's such a small SUV with only four cylinder turbo engine still i mean the way suspension transmission your steering wheel works it's kind of sportish car so you want to step on the gas as many times as you can during your trip so on the freeway this car doing amazing at any speed whatever you want to do the brakes are super good i mean it's more than enough and i think those brakes they're using exactly the same brakes on the x3 I'm not sure about X5, maybe yes, but probably not. I hope so not. But for this small car, it breaks more than enough. And the wheels again, not only designed, but those R19, I would say they're good. They look so cool. But for the city of LA, I would prefer go with 18 and a little bit bigger, kind of wider, maybe, maybe bigger, higher tires because it's not the perfect road condition around the city so you have to be careful on driving with those r19 or r20 rims so the m package on this car it is available i didn't see it yet when i got this one it was not an option to get the m package yet but the way i got it it was black on the red interior and the red interior it just bought itself for me so i didn't look for the options whatever the car had I'm just like it's a black it has red seats and those cool nice interior those square you know i mean i'm just that's it i fall in love so i bought it and i think right now i did a good choice because between x3 and x1 uh x3 would be better choice i would say because maybe it has more room inside and the price for the car it's about the same but the style and just the new design for me it's much better that's why i got this one and there's a lot of people want the same way as me because x3 been on the market for several years and you already see it 2021 
2020, it's kind of the same. They changed the tail lights, but this car, they changed it completely, the whole car inside and out. So the black color itself, it's kind of problematic. So I'm not recommending anyone to buy the black color. Only me, as always, buying something with problems. So that's why I bought the BMW new one, but it is a black. So I'm gonna face a lot of different things on this car something else i just found the old style and the way they used to do on the old cars that's the emblem of bmw on the hood they still doing exactly the same there is nothing new that huge scoop on the hood it's kind of making car look sporty but at the same time we do have a huge grill on the front like all bmw has right now and the bumper that just a massive kind of uh, sporty piece itself sitting right here and we do have a huge air duct on the sides and i believe that it's not only part of the design they made this way especially so it can cool the brakes and maybe the tires if you're going really high speed somewhere in the willow springs but not in the city of los angeles so right here in the front grill we do have a huge radar because we do have an active cruise control so we can control it while we're driving it plus we do have a camera right there on the windshield the active cruise control is kind of weird to use so you cannot do it only from the steering wheel you have to do actually i'm going to show it to you but it's in the middle console you have to push the button on the menu on the screen you have to choose what you want to do adjust it and only after that it's going to work the way you want it not like before you can scroll it up and down and that's it so in my opinion the bmw is always i'm not a big fan of bmw believe me or not but this bmw x1 for some reason i like it a lot just because it's small it's kind of sportish but at the same time it is a suv i do have a lot of space so i can drop the back seat and i can put a lot of stuff if i have to but i'm always doing that kind of stuff because i do have a family and the kids so that car gonna feed my needs i hope so if not i'm gonna get rid of this car but for now i love it i'm enjoying it and you might gonna enjoy it also if you're gonna get one so if you already got one like that just put the comments below and tell me what kind of car you got what this package on that and maybe you have a m package which is much nicer and cooler than this one but i didn't think you have a much nicer and cooler than my black on the red interior car so to open the hood you have to go the same way as all mini coopers right now i think since 2015 they're doing that and bmw the first time i see double click that's on a 20 uh 13 or 2012 3 series bmw f when it just came out so we do have a small engine 2.0 turbo charge and it is a gasoline it's not a hybrid like i say just a regular engine and it's kind of old maybe redesigned a little bit maybe they changed some parts whatever used to be always problematic but i don't think so the headlights itself is just a huge piece of art look what's going on inside it's like a diamonds and it has a sign bmw led at night they work so perfect again what i don't like about all new style kind of cars we do have a bumper but we do not have the fog lights believe me or not it helps a lot especially if you're going maybe early in the morning or at night somewhere down to the ocean by canyon and uh, fog light just helps a lot because when the foggy outside fog lights are working perfectly so i have no idea for now how long this engine gonna last I think my prediction it's about 50,000, 45,000 until the oil leaks gonna appear. That's for sure gonna be because it is a BMW. And uh, what's the other things? We do have uh, not so many things to do under the hood because number one and the main reason why you don't want to go under the hood, this car is brand new and it's under the warranty. You have to do nothing, like nothing. Maybe just add water for your windshield sometimes if you really need so. But other than that, even the filters you don't have to do it i mean the first maintenance it's a free maybe the second one too i'm not sure i have to double check on that but i don't think i'm going to touch air filter during the whole period of time i'm having this car i just do not want to do so because it is a brand new car let it work itself 
So that's one of the problem of the black car. I just close the hood and my fingers, they remain on the hood, remaining on the hood. So I have to clean it. And it's every time like that. So if you want to keep your black car clean, you always have to keep the rack in the car in the door and just go and swipe it all the time. Somebody sitting or getting out of the car because they're always going to touch your paint. Not your paint, but paint of the BMW. So let's check myself on the back, how I'm going to fit there. But I think from the interior, the most, the most impressive part for me, that's the back seat. So back seat, it's folding down as a 40, 40, 20. So basically you can fold down the mid part where it could be the seat for the fifth passenger, or you can put it down and put your ski or your snowboard or whatever you want to put. That's really cool. So if I'm sitting myself on the driver's seat, pretty much comfortable, how I'm feeling myself on the back. I do have more than enough, I would say space because I have to push myself to kind of push the front seat. So that's cool. The back, the back part of the rear seat can do, besides flipping down, you can enclave it. You can a little bit push it down, not like kind of lay down, but it's going to give you a little bit more room if you want to enjoy your ride. So what about the mid part? Like I said, it's 40, 40, 20. So you can do 40, I mean, you can do 20 part, put it down and you do have an access to your trunk compartment. Again, the design of the interior, I think it's such a nice because the seats, they do have that red headrest, but in the middle, we do have a black part. So the headrest for the mid part, it is black. Isn't it cool? It is so cool. So what else would you have on the back? We do have a huge pockets in the doors, the doors, the door panels, like I say, it is a plastic. I mean, it's a soft plastic, but still not the same as on the front one, but we do have a black leather part in the mid. That what makes the interior even on the back is such a beautiful. So we do have a couple chargers in the middle. We do have a, like a storage on the bottom and more than enough space to put the legs, to put your feet down there. Plus the mid passenger, if you're gonna get one, he's gonna or she's gonna get enough space to put the legs between yours. That's okay to do the short trip with five passenger, but I mean, basically four passenger, that's more than enough for, for this car. And it's gonna fit you and your friends, that's for sure, because it is fitting me everywhere I wanna sit besides the seat in the back, in the middle. So what about the space in the trunk? The space in the trunk, it's more than enough for the small SUV. I think it's about the same as the X3. I'm not sure about the Audi Q3. I think Audi Q3 a little bit smaller. But as soon as I open in the trunk, what I can tell, all the parts like that, looks like it's been redesigned and remake because they were not exist on the previous body as far as I know, as far as I mainly drove those X1s. And that's kind of cool, but it's always the same. I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna change it anytime soon because it's simple to use and it's kind of easy. So this cover, you can pull it down if you don't need it, if you wanna put some heavy, some heavy big stuff in your trunk or inside your car. So what I would do, I would put kind of protection for this because it's gonna be easy damaged by different things you're gonna put in the trunk. So what we do have there, that's pretty impressive because usually usually all the tires are run flat and I never see the spare tire in the car, but looks like all new generations, uh, all new generation of BMW, they doing that. And uh, I can see the donut in the trunk. That's really interesting. I don't know why they decided to go with that, but it's there, there is some tools, some jack and other tools so you can you can replace the tire yourself if you have to and you're kind of far away. So that net on the side, it's kind of BMW thing from like I would say 80s or 90s. It's always been there and it's still over there. We do have a power tailgate. So as always, we can close it or we can lock the car. 
Those buttons are old one, they not redesigned, and they are using the same one from the previous body. That's only thing, maybe a couple more. No, I cannot remember right now what else I see from the previous body, but that's only thing for now I can tell being used from the previous car. Other than that, the whole design are new, maybe suspension, some part of the suspension, they use the same as on the previous X1. The engine transmission, I mean, they used from the previous one, but design, the tail lights, they just super nice and looks beautiful. And if I would take the sign X1 out from this car, you cannot even tell it's X1 or X3 or what is that? X2, maybe it's X4, new one. I mean, again, if you're not a fan of BMW, you just see all different kind of SUVs passing by and you cannot see the sign of X what kind of X is that, you cannot tell what kind of BMW is that because it's such a cool new BMW, beautiful design, new modern future design. And all BMW pretty much sooner or later, they're gonna be looks like that or already looking. So while you are driving, while I'm driving this beautiful X1 BMW 2023, like I say, fully redesigned and new car, what I do like a lot, that's uh, all the design inside the car, all the, all the interior parts, they, they are so cool, they're kind of futuristic. And I think all the generation of the BMW, all the new generations right now, uh, the whole generation right now of BMW, they do have the same uh, parts and quite recognizable design on all of them. So that's a huge, display we do have it on the front and right now the cluster and the multimedia display oh they all together in one piece and you do have a lot of option like for example you can change your cluster and do different kind of things on that that's so cool that's like you do have a huge ipod not like on a tesla tesla is kind of different you cannot redesign it but the steering wheel it's quite comfortable the suspension working perfectly on a small SUV. Even this car, small SUV, but same time it is kind of super sport, super sporty small SUV because it is a BMW. And even this car, it's not M package. It is a X drive of 2.0 engine. A lot of people paying attention because it's something new on the road. Not so many of those since, I mean, right now in 2023 and this car came up for sale, I think in the beginning of this year, maybe a little bit like in April, but I saw maybe once this car, but when I got this offer, like I can get it, not that expensive. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what's the MSRP for the car and how much I pay for that. For now, I'm gonna keep it, but I wanna review and show you to you what I got from these days I'm driving this car and how I'm feeling myself inside this car. I'm I'm really comfortable, to be honest with you, and the seats, they kind of pushing me from the side, from the both sides, and quite not enough space maybe for my legs, but it is adjustable. It is adjustable. Even the seat, the driver's seat, I can move it back and move it down. So I'm gonna have a lot of space for myself and for my legs. So the steering wheel, the steering column, it is adjustable. It's a manual going up and down, back and forth. So you can have a lot of room for your needs. So what about the materials inside the car? Materials, I would say they are not maybe highly top, but they are really good. So the quality, the quality is really good when I see the stitches are straight and they are straight so on the front door panels we do have like a soft leather stuff on it and those handles they just insane i mean whoever designed it you know for the simple x1 they made a good job on the back doors it's not that soft it's just a, a plastic on the top but still we do have a leather in the middle and the red piece in the middle of the door panel that's cool all those handles, they kind of futuristic and they are super suitable for a new style, new design BMW. 
the central console we do have it here so we have a transmission shifter and all those kind of funky buttons what i don't like that's the parking button right there i think it's supposed to be right up front but up front we do have a start and stop button so sometimes i was like by accident pushing that button and turning the engine off but i'm not supposed to do that so the middle again center console what i don't like when you're trying to push any button whatever displayed here the whole panel is moving so because it's not separate buttons it's like all together on one panel so every time i'm pushing the camera for example the whole panel is moving we do have that pocket that extra space in the middle but i have no idea what i can use it for even my phone cannot sit there so what about the charging port the charging port i mean we do have a usb-c type uh inlets everywhere on the back and front but there is a part you can put your phone and charge it but this little funky thing to hold your phone they just i mean super funny i mean whoever designed it how they how they came up came up with that idea like okay we're gonna do that one so you can put any type of phone and it's gonna charge it from the back but we're gonna do that kind of handle for the iphone for the any phone and it's gonna hold it you're gonna adjust it i think in one or two years it's gonna break down for sure one of the cool thing here when you came to the stop and now you want to go back you do have that start backup assistance so basically what you're going to do as soon as i'm going to put it on the reverse the car the car going to go back itself the way you came to this point so basically it's helping you to move out from the spot you have no idea how to move out what else we have on the central display the central display right now it is commanding it is doing all the climate control Thing. And it's kind of weird so you have to like play with that a little bit to understand it and to get used to because it's not like your regular BMW used to be I never actually had the new style BMW that's the first time I'm getting it and uh, it's kind of weird again I have no idea when I turn it on so the heater for the seats it's been on on I never turn it on but it was an automatic programming so basically somehow the seats program itself to be always heated right why i have no idea why so the windows what i do like about the switches they kind of solid they they not they not kind of i mean they are cheap plastic but they not moving like on the cheap cars they kind of solid buttons going up and down but the windows going down and going up in my opinion kind of slow but there is a soft closing and soft opening so the back door window it's not going all the way down so basically it's sticking a little bit off i don't know i'm not remember no i don't think the previous x1 used to do the same so we do have an optional panoramic roof on this car and it is kind of same slow position whatever slow moving the old bmw used to do so we do have a front panel glass it's gonna open and we do gonna get a lot of sun or fresh air if you want to drive it down the ocean and you're not in a convertible car so like i say in my opinion design is super cool i mean inside the interior the quality of the interior it's such a nice piece of art not art but it's kind of art look at those seats they just insane i mean it is like a m m sport package or just the m4 even the m whatever right now available on the market they maybe not that cool like this bmw x1 x drive and i know it is optional you can buy the black one but the red one they just look super good super nice and again for the same for the same kind of money i would get uh, maybe x3 bmw i didn't like the bmw x3 if you're going to compare it to x1 just because the big bmw x3 it's been on the market for several years already and this body style this car it's a brand new just came out and uh, there is a lot of things to think about it before you do a decision and so this is the small size family suv and it has a lot of space for you and for your kids maybe on the back there is a lot of variety how you can adjust the back seat and put all the family together in one car actually this bmw x1 can do so and uh, if car can do it why you cannot 
So that was my quick review about the BMW X1, the brand new, the one I got. I hope guys you like it, put some thumbs up and put some comments below, you like it, you don't like it. If you want me to review something else, or you do have the same car, like I say, or the similar one from the new generation, and something you like or something you don't like about your own car. Thank you so much for watching it, and I'll see you next time.